Hey guys, it's Kelly, and Spare Halloween, I wanted to make this video where I give you kind of, kind of like an advice for you, and my opinion in a way, but um, you know, since that we're going to be doing it on like paranormal, um, my thing is like, I don't understand, um, like, I don't understand when people say they don't believe in spirits and ghosts. Like, I understand it's definitely your own experience, but I feel like even if they have an experience, they try to explain it. And I have a theory for why. But, like, you have to think about how, how to, can you explain if you have a glass on the table, if you have, like, your phone on the table, just have something on the table and then just goes flying off, you know, or a cabinet flying open. Like, how you explain that, you know? Oh, like, when you're home alone, you hear noise, you hear a knock, you hear footsteps, you hear a voice. And you have no TV on, no nothing on, and just you in the house. How do you explain that? You know, not everything has a logical explanation. That's one of the things that makes me so mad when people say that everything has a logical explanation. And I think people, you know, say that because I think the people who don't believe are afraid to believe. Because they don't want to admit that there's something powerful out there as, like, a demon. Well, demons, it's a different story in a way. But we're going to have, like, a ghost, poltergeist that can, you you know, or like, they don't want to believe that you can get possessed by something, or like, you know, you can be harmed by something, or think, or like, an entity, or something can like, throw things around the room and stuff. Like, I think they're scared to, to believe and to admit that that stuff could happen. That stuff is real. So you just try to always come up with a logical explanation. And you know, it's okay, but I mean, I've had, some, like I said, I've had experiences, nothing like, too major. You know, I've shared them with you, and I'm always, guys, another thing too, I'm always 100% honest with you. Remember that, I'm always going to be 100% honest. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, that's what I wanted to say, like, it just doesn't make sense that people, you know, that people have to think that way. It's like, get it? It does seem scary too, to believe, like, there's demons and stuff out there that can possess you, or that can do, can really harm you, you know. I get that, that why it could be a scary thing to believe, but you can't deny it once you have an experience, you know. And it's, like I said, just accept it. And you know, if you don't believe, and don't like, guys, another advice I can give you to do with the panel, don't make fun of it, don't call it now, that's just gonna make you mad and go after you. Okay, like, don't mess with the Ouija board. I've done it, and if you do it, do it safely if you have to, you know. Now that's one thing you do, like, we can tell you guys don't do something, you know. That's why we do it to show you to not show you don't have to. But we really, in the real, like in actuality, we can't control what you guys do. If you guys want to go out and try this dangerous stuff, you guys are gonna do it regardless of what we say. We can just say and hope you listen. You know, that's the thing. Anyway, read your bird if you guys do want, you know, do it. Just be safe, you know. Make sure you know the rules. Take the proper precautions. Number one rule: always say goodbye and respect the spirits. If it if the plant just starts going backwards and the letters are numbers, that means the spirit's gonna try to leave the bird and that means it's a negative spirit. Anyways, you know, just, I wouldn't do the Ouija bird unless you know you know what you're doing because that can lead to dangerous consequences. No, I know, you know, a lot of YouTubers do this paranormal stuff and people call it fake and it could be fake. Like, I be, like with the Lance Stewart stuff, people calling it fake. Yes, okay, when he got pulled out of bed, yes, that was fake. I think there was some stuff that was real, like when the cabinet fell off. Yes, you can do a string, but think about it. How would you make the stuff fall out like it did? And what about um the Ouija board? And what about when that, that thing got thrown into Chris's mirror when they were living in their LA apartment? Then, you know, they show the room. No one could be in there. And why would they do that to damage the walls? They would not, that's like their apartment, you know? So, I don't know. And, like, when that couch move, yes, you can say it's a string. I don't know. There's just some stuff, too, that I feel was real. And I feel like it could not be staged. In my opinion, those lands videos from, like, last year. When you did the whole haunted thing in the LA apartment. Same with, like, when the writing on the floor. Someone probably did do that, but I was also thinking, why would they risk ruining the floor? Which, again, you know, with an apartment, it's at your apartment. When you live in an apartment, you're pretty much renting it. You don't own it. You know, you have a landlord, so, you know, so you don't have to do anything to damage that apartment just for a video. You know, I don't think Lance would do that. You know, it's like the reachable stuff probably was real. I'm telling you, some of that stuff was real. Some that could have been fake, but I think it was real. And guys, people do this videos. If it's real or fake, regardless, you don't have to call them up. Just enjoy for what it is. It's just an entertainment thing. You know, it's for entertainment purposes. 
who cares if it's real or fake? You know, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't have to call them out real or fake. Like, that's, you know, you won't want them doing it to you. you know, when you guys, before you come, think about this. What would you want people to comment on your videos if you made videos, you know? If, you know, what kind of comments do, would you want on your videos? Think about that before you write a comment. Would you want people calling out your videos as being fake? Would you want them to be hateful? Okay, that's one advice I can give you. But anyways, we're going off top of Catholic. Yeah, I just enjoy those panel videos because I just hate seeing that fake, fake. It's like, who cares? It's for entertainment. Like I said, some of the lean stuff, guys, you can't deny. The most prompt, the most thing that proved it to me is when, like I said, that thing broke Chris's mirror. And then it broke, went through the wall. Like, come on. And it didn't even show an object. There was no object there to, like, you know, that girl went through it, though. That's the thing when they showed it. They just showed a glass. No, I don't think they would go that far, come on. Especially like Lance, you know, the way he is. He wouldn't take it that far to the permanent, I don't know. Like the possessed stuff, that could have been fake, but I don't want to say anything. Like I said, I don't want to say anything bad about that kind of stuff because that's like dangerous stuff, so you don't want to say anything bad about it. But it could have, you know, just like in the movies. I don't know, like I said, I feel, feel the paranormal is real. You have to have your own experience, I guess, to prove it's real, but I feel it is real, and that there is a lot of proof. This guy just remember, do not be scared to believe in this stuff. I know it seems scary, and yes, there are scary aspects to the paranormal world, but there's also some really cool ones to, to it too. If you guys want me to talk more about the paranormal and you know, I'm excited to do more Halloween videos, please let me know. That's it, guys. And what inspired me to make this too, I wanted to make it already, but what inspires me to make this now is because I was watching my Joe Nuggets video surprise one of his Halloween videos when they went to Ursula's. The one that, because I was watching the playlist and I watched the LA Zoo one we did with Brian. And then that one came on next after the LA Zoo one. And then Chloe came and he was saying that he believes in angels and demons, but not that. Not spare. It's like when you die, you become a spare. Like, and that didn't make sense to me. Like, how you do say that? Like, that kind of makes no sense. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the paranormal and stuff. In the comments below, I want to know your take on it. Do you believe in it? Have you ever had an experience that maybe helped you to believe in it more? Like, I've, I've always been, I feel like I've always believed in it. Like, if you guys, you know, you're curious and you don't necessarily believe, you know, maybe go to a haunted place around you, try and communicate with something, you know, like, just you saying all oh, those ghost shows are fake. It's not fake, guys. I'm telling you, I believe in spirits. And, and I believe if to a hundred percent and what I've experienced and what I know about the paranormal it does it doesn't seem that far fetched from my point of view because of how much videos I watch and how much I know about the paranormal and stuff it doesn't seem that far fetched like how you explain to him pictures the ghostly apparitions and stuff like I know in digital people can photoshop but what about those other cameras that like you had to take the film to like a store to develop how you, they can't photoshop a picture and no I mean a ghost in those. I'm telling you guys, you know, like, ghosts are 100% real, whether you believe or not, they are. And I think one day it's going to, you know, really be evidence. I think one day, I think it's not going to be like it is now. Some people leave, some people don't. It's going to be proven to be real. Like, I don't know. Anyways, that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to say for this video. Give my opinion, give my thoughts about people who say that stuff. And it makes me upset, especially when Jesse would do the Ouija board in the Psycho series and the Haunted series and he was fixing up Aunt Jackie's house because he didn't take it seriously. That's one of the worst things to do is not take a Ouija board seriously. Anyway, hey guys, let me know, you know, believe in ghosts if you have any experience. I hope you got something from this video. And for those of you who don't believe, I strongly recommend that, like I say, you maybe go to a haunted place. I'm um, sorry about that. I, I thought I just saw, like, a shadow. It might have been... I look real fast, you know, sometimes when you look real fast. Anyways, for those of you who don't believe, you know, don't be scared. All, not all paranormal is bad or evil, it's good. It's, you know, your family members. Like, you know, like you said, go to a haunted place that you know of, you know? Like, if you if you don't have a haunted place near your house, go explore it. I promise you that. I do not lie to you guys. Anything, any paranormal videos I do do, it would not be fake. They would be 100% real. Yes, I do have my editor edit them, but I would never have him... You know, I'm the life, I swear on my mother's life, a right hand. I would never have my editor edit anything into the video to 
like any ghostly things into the video and I would never fake a video for you guys. Okay, all videos I make be 100% real, except for like the series I wanna do down the line. But other than that, my videos are always gonna be 100% real. Have my right hand to God and I swear on my mother's life. Okay guys, I just want you to know that. Um, Anyways, I love you guys. Let me know if you guys, you know, comments. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Hopefully you got something from this. If you had any experiences, leave your stories. If you guys want to, if you had any like paranormal experiences you want me to share, you know, like Haley Reese do that and Lori Lane. There are other like YouTubers who have a lot of like ghostly experiences who like and lived in haunted houses and grew up in haunted houses. So and they share their subscriber story. So if you want guys just email me your ghostly story. Um and I would read and I would read it on a video if you would like. No, especially it's the it's just the season, right? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on my socials. Sign my YouTube petition. Happy Halloween. Leave comments to also suggestions for other, like, Halloween weenie videos you want me to do. I can get the ghost box. Maybe I can see if we can, like, go to a haunted place and do an investigation. If you want, it could be fun, you know. So, yeah, let me know if you got stuff you want to see. Anyway, guys, i see you guys in the next video. Peace.